just continue that conversation and get some uh, you know market perspective on this as well moshe katri md at wedbush securities is with us moshe thanks very much uh, always great to have you on our show so we uh, got this uh, you know rather surprising news late last evening india time what are your thoughts uh, the person who's taking over is also an insider he spent 30 plus years with tcs do you think it'll be a smooth transition and uh, what do you expect on the stock First, there's never really good timing for an executive to leave, especially uh, in the context of Rajesh, given his significant and impressive uh, contribution to the company. Um, secondly, you know, TCS, uh, in our view, has a very deep bench, and this will likely be a very smooth transition. Um, you know, uh, companies like TCS have have such a, an amazing culture of nurturing executives and growing them from within which uh, on one hand is a blessing but on the other hand it's also a curse because <laughs> you, you will see them leave to go somewhere else um and it's the nature of the business you've seen that at TCS you've seen that at Infosys um but again the good news as i said is that these companies have very a very very deep bench and they should be able to um you know bring in um somebody else and you know the the new ceo or the replacement ceo seems to be to 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 have a very impressive resume in terms of his experience obviously you know focusing on bfa bfsi the largest vertical etc so should be a smooth transition uh timing is probably not ideal given work what the industry is facing as we speak but you know it is what it is it is what it is uh, moshe you know the other thing is that from medium to long term standpoint the coo mr n ganapati is 63 um uh, we have uh, mr kriti wasan who's 58 as well clsa has written that uh, at some point succession planning becomes extremely important for them given the current age and experience of the leadership as well how do you view tcs given the fact that it's uh, you know trading at a significant premium to the others as well Uh, succession planning is something that you have in every large company in the space. I'm not surprised. I mean, I think that it's kind of give, uh, of a given, if you will. <clears throat> the premium uh, that TCS has had is a function of the execution and visibility, and the fact that they've been pretty consistent. Um, and you know, that's how the market kind of prices you these days. Hmm. Okay. I think uh, we can actually go across to uh, TCS now. Uh, stay with us, uh, Moshe, and listen. And you, you will want to listen to Rajesh here. We have done 